Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to use the selection set in SketchUp, how to work with the selection. So first I already have set up my model um, variable which points to the active model and my cell variable which points to the SketchUp selection and then ENTS which points to the model active entities. I'm going to use all of these um, objects in my script and what I want to do with this script is make it so that it selects any line that's within you know any line that's a certain length let's say so any line that's 10 inches or 10 units in length we want to add that to the selection so the first thing we need to do is we're gonna have to go through and look at find all the entities in the model and determine if they're edges and then if they're edges we'll need to determine their length and if they're the right length then we'll add them to the selection set so I'm going to do that by first iterating through all of the entities so ents dot each do e if E is a SketchUp edge. So now this is saying if the entity that we're looking at right now is a SketchUp edge, this is an edge object in the SketchUp module. So if it's a SketchUp edge, then we want to add it to, we'll make the, an, an array, edges array. We'll add E. Let's end our if and end. Here, I'll indent this a little bit. And there we go. Now you can see. So this is, if the entity is an edge, let's add that entity to our edges array. Now we need to first initialize that edges array outside of this block of code so that it's accessible later in the script down here. So now we have an empty edges array, and we're going to add every edge to it. So now the same thing. We'll go through all the edges. Edges.each do e if e dot length compares equal to 10 cell let's see let's close this first end and end so now we have let's see we're looking at the edge length and if it is 10 units long we want to add it to the selection so we do that by using our selection so cell dot add is a, the method and we want to add E. So I think that's fairly self-explanatory. As we go through each edge, if it's 10 units long, we're going to add it to the selection. And let's see if that works. Click Execute. Sure enough, that went through. All of these are 10 inches in length, so they all get added to the selection set. Perfect. Now let's say, though, somebody already ha we already have a bunch of things selected first, and you click Execute. Well, you might not want all of those there. So first, you might want to do cell dot clear and I don't remember there might be let's see okay yeah cell dot clear is the method to first clear the selection set so what that did I'm gonna comment this out first so it's not gonna actually add anything all cell dot clear does is just first clears everything out of the selection so then when we get down here to adding entities to the selection it's already a clean it's a clean selection set so now click execute and it adds everything to it now we have if e length compares equal to 10 we could also do something like if it is less than 11 um, not, not that let's see and maybe greater than 8 so now we'll do a setup a little range so if the edge length is between 11 and 8 we'll select it now you can see these here are 9 inches and these are 10 inches, so it selects both of those. Um, this is a quick way. Sometimes if you're making something that you need to you know, quickly select a whole bunch of edges that you know their length, this is a quick way you can just write it up and select all edges that are that exact length or something. Um, and of course it's just a, a basic intro into the selection set and how to clear the selection set and add entities to the selection set. So I hope you find that helpful.